hey guys okay so i'm here with another hair video excuse my frizzy hair right now this atlanta humidity is just really doing a number on my hair it's just looking real frizzy and shrunken up and yeah i just i don't know what's going on with it but i wanted to get this video filmed for you guys um if you guys have seen my other hair videos you know what my hair usually looks like despite the craziness right now um but yeah so I previously did a video on the, I think it's like the staple products that I use on a weekly basis to keep my hair like healthy. Um, and so I wanted to kind of do something similar to that. But basically this video will be on like the various, uh, I guess like tools type stuff, like the non-product type things that I use on a regular basis that I feel are essential for someone with natural hair. If you guys want like a full detailed video on like the best like overall products everything for natural slash transitioning hair I do have a video on that I think it's like a starter kit for transitioners um, for people transitioning from relaxed to natural so if you have already transitioned or you're transitioning that video will be super helpful for you guys there are a lot of things in here that you guys might think I forgot but really these are the things that I personally use and that I feel are essential um that I realistically use because like I said there's a lot of things like I did a whole list and there's a lot of things that I, I was going to include but I'm like I don't really use those things on a day-to-day -day basis so I don't want to really include them I'll kind of mention them to you guys um, but these are the things that I actually use so what should I start with so I guess I'll start with the actual like things to like I guess kind of style your hair in the natural state so as far as detangling goes so a detangling tool that you use is super duper important when it comes to natural hair of course you can finger detangle but if you want to use a tool you want to make sure you use the right one so if I'm detangling my hair in the shower the two things that I will use are either this um it's like a double detangler from we dead it's like a really heavy strong comb or I will use this detangling brush from Felicia Leatherwood. I recently started using this in the shower. I always use this when I'm styling my hair outside of the shower but recently like I said I use it in the shower as well. So I love those two for in the shower. If I am um, like redoing my twist or doing some type of bun or something I like to use this tangle teaser. I'll use it to kind of like detangle my ends or just to kind of smooth my hair down maybe from doing a bun. Um, also if I'm doing a bun I don't use this to detangle my hair. It just doesn't really work well for me. I've tried it for wash and go. I've tried it to detangle my hair. It doesn't work well for me but I do like to use this if I need to kind of like comb down my hair. Um, if I'm going to do a bun it just kind of like smooths it down well and then a soft brush of course you always want to have a soft brush whenever you're doing any kind of slick styles or if you are kind of brushing back your edges another brush that I like to use this is how I get my um my edge gel or my gel out of the container so it's like shaped specifically for you to be able to put it in that edge jar and then kind of like smooth it on your edges and speaking of edges, I like to use uh, this brush. It has a comb on one side and then a little brush on the other side. And this is what I'll use to kind of like brush and smooth and, you know, style my little baby hairs. Uh, I will link all these products in um, the description box below. Some of these you can only find on Amazon and so make sure you um, check out my Amazon store where if there's products that I can't find, um, like in a store, I'll most likely be able to find them on Amazon and then you can just go directly there. I'll leave the link to it and then you can get the item. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out my store on Amazon. Okay, next the other um, hair type styling tools, a rat tail comb. The only thing I use this for is to part my hair. I like to use this side to have a very precise part. The next one is a pick, of course. How can you have like big curly hair and not use a pick. So I always use this pick just to kind of like fluff out my hair and to get rid of any kind of um, separation that's in my hair from when I had it twisted. This next thing is like super essential for anybody that washes their hair in the bathroom. So right now I have like the tub shower type setup. So what I'll do is put this in there. This is called a tub shroom. I purchased this from Bed Bath & Beyond and basically this goes into the drainer where that stopper usually is 
And when I tell you guys, I have never had a clogged drain since using this. Like it literally just like traps all the hair around here and then you just kind of pull it out. It's gross because you gotta pull out all the hair, but you pull it out and then you have all the hair trapped around here. So this is amazing. I don't even think it was that much, maybe like $3 or so, don't quote me on that. But it definitely was not pricey and it's like super easy to just put it into the drain in your tub. Okay, the next thing in the shower, I like to have a shower mirror. This one is okay, I definitely need to invest in a better one, but for now, this one just kind of works. I've had it forever and I just haven't bothered to get another one. Um, but you know, you can hang your little stuff here and then it just kind of has a suction cup that goes um, on the wall. But I like to have one of these in the shower for, um, of course, when I'm washing my face, I think that's when I use it most. But when you're washing your hair, if you're doing any kind of parting in the shower, maybe if you do like your wash and go styling in the shower, or you just wanna make sure all the products, shampoo, whatever it is you're putting in your hair is out, it's good to have a shower mirror so that you can kind of like see what you're doing. It's not like necessary, but it definitely is something that once you get it, you're like, oh my gosh, why wasn't I using one of these before? Next for the shower, um, well, you can use this in the shower or I like to, I use this for the shower, like I kind of layer up my shower cap and stuff because my hair just gets wet no matter what. But something like this, or you can just use like a plastic bag and wrap it around your head. If you're doing any kind of deep conditioning before you get in the shower, this is really good. I just buy like a big box of them from Target or from the beauty supply store and I just have them to, like I said, deep condition my hair, pre-poo my hair or just to wear in the shower. Next, I have this gigantic shower cap. Could you guys see all this hair that I have? So if I'm gonna go in the shower with my hair um, like this, it's not twisted, I like to have a jumbo shower cap and this one is actually lined on the inside with like a silkier material, which is great because you always wanna make sure you're protecting your hair um, when you're putting something on it that's not gonna cause any friction or breakage or anything. And I also like that it has this adjustable um, strap on here so that you can adjust it to fit all your hair in your head. I got this on Amazon so I'll leave this um, linked from my Amazon store. You always want to make sure that you have these little like I don't know what they're called these little crocodile clips I think they're called but I like to use these just to kind of like section off my hair if I'm styling it if you just want to clip like I like to use these a lot just to kind of clip my hair back if I'm gonna um gel my edges I use these in the shower so I personally like to wash my hair in sections just because I have so much hair it just makes it easier to do it in sections um to make sure that I thoroughly get all in my scalp and get all areas of my hair Another little clip I like, so these, so normally if you guys have watched my twist out, my most recent twist out video, which I will link below, I like to do um, flat twists in the crown area, but if I just don't have time to do that and I just do like a regular twist, I like to just kind of clip the top section of that twist just to make sure that it's like laid down. The next tool that I think is super essential is some scissors. So I'm not someone that likes to make a habit of cutting my own hair. Recently I've had to do that this year twice. I've had to cut my own hair or I should say trim my own hair. Um, I'd rather have a professional do it but now I think I'm getting kind of comfortable doing it. But anyway you want to just make sure you have a pair of hair scissors on hand. You can get these at any beauty supply store or Amazon or a ton of different places. Don't ever use regular basic scissors on your hair because you're going to totally damage your hair. Um, but make sure you have some hair scissors. You never know if you're going to just have to like trim a little piece or if you are brave enough to kind of just like trim your own hair. It's good to have a pair of those on hand. Oh, another clip that I like to use. So I mentioned before that I... Um, like to kind of stretch my hair out once my twists are completely dry. So I'll either stretch it by putting it in a bun or I'll stretch it by putting it in a jaw clip. And I believe I have a clip of me using this clip in my most recent twist out video. I'll just like twist it up and then clip it and then I can just like wear it like that throughout the day or in the shower or whatever and it just kind of like stretches my hair out. The next hair tool type thing I'll show you guys is silk scrunchies. So silk scrunchies are super essential when you are working with your hair period, especially natural hair. So I have a big one um, right here and I have a little one. I like to use these little ones either when my hair is like twisted and I'll just like pull it back in a ponytail to be at home or I like to use these little ones for when I am um, pineappling my hair at night. I'll just use one of these for each section and then I'll take these ones and I'll um, 
put them throughout the sections or I'll just use these ones to use for all the sections. I hope that wasn't too confusing. But basically what I'm saying is some good silk scrunchies are important um, when you're pineappling your hair. When I'm putting my hair in a bun or ponytail or anything like that, I like to use these snappies. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of these, but basically they just kind of snap together. So you don't have to worry about the kind of rubber band where you have to kind of like twist your hair and then put in there. If you have a lot of hair, sometimes that can be a little bit difficult. So these snappies are super easy and convenient. Um, they just kind of snap. So it makes it easy. You can, I think you get three in a pack. So if you need to do it, um, like as a headband or anything or one is just not stretchy enough for you or long enough for you, you can snap them together and then use it in your hair. It avoids your hair getting tangled in the um, rubber band and it just makes life so much easier. Okay, what else haven't I shown you guys? Okay, another thing, this is super basic, but what I like to do is use one of these to tie my edges down when I have my hair like this. So when I'm wearing my hair like this, I used to like gel my edges down all the time but then I'm like why do I need to do that if I am just wearing my hair like this it's not really necessary sometimes I might but really I don't ever do that but I'll make sure to kind of moisturize it but I will lay my edges down with this so say I've just taken out my twist I think I, I did show it in my um most recent twist up video if you haven't seen that check it out because I keep referring to it but I'll use this to tie down my edges so that my edges lay flat and I'm not flattening the rest of my hair Okay, the next thing I'll show you guys is a bonnet. You want to make sure that you have a really good silk bonnet that's going to work with your hair. So when I'm wearing my hair like in a pineapple um, or if I'm like getting ready and I've taken my hair out, I love this. Um, I don't remember what this is called, but I will link it below. I did do a full video on it as well. I'll make sure to link that below as well too. But this is awesome if you have a protective style, if you have your hair straight, if you have your hair big and curly. There's lots of room here. For the length of your hair the inside of it is silk which is great because that's once again protecting your hair um, if you want to clip it up like this which I never do because it just ends up looking kind of awkward you can snap it up like this to kind of make it shorter but I always just leave it out and then I just kind of tuck it underneath which if you watch that video you'll see but this is like my favorite bonnet. Y'all, I'm always protecting my hair and my skin. I'm just let y'all know. I use silk as much as I can if I'm doing anything on my hair. Yeah, this is a silk pillowcase. Not only does it help protect your hair, but it helps protect your skin from wrinkles and getting dried out. And although I always, I always, always wear a bonnet to sleep at night, my hair is always covered either in a silk scarf or a bonnet. I never just go to sleep with my hair out but I still use um, a silk pillowcase anyway, just in case it slips off, or like I said, it's great for your skin as well. Next thing, this is the silk, um, silk scarf that I use. It's really big, but I just put it in a triangle. I believe I got this off of Amazon. And this just, if I'm doing a bun, if I have my twist in, whatever I'm doing, um, it just kind of keeps my hair healthy, smooths it down, lays it down, and makes it look really nice and neat. And I believe this is the last thing that I have. So this is basically what I use to dry my hair. This is a towel, not a towel, a t-shirt, t-shirt towel. So this is for drying your hair and it's made out of t-shirt material. And then it just has, um, where is it? It has this little piece right here. And then you just kind of like how you would twist up a turban, not a turban, how you would twist up your towel, um, you do the same thing. But this is just a t-shirt material. So if you're using any kind of towel on your hair, back in the day I used to use microfiber towel, which I don't think that's really good either. For the past several years, I've always just used um, a t-shirt or t-shirt towel. So definitely get one of those or use an old t-shirt if you are using a towel for your hair because it's super bad for hair. It dries it out, it breaks it, it, breaks it off, causes a lot of friction. It's just not good to use in your hair. Um, so yeah, these are the things that I actually use. I did think about putting stuff like a um, bullet dryer and a diffuser and a steamer and a hooded dryer and all those kind of things in here, a flat iron, um, all those different things. But I wanted to make this super realistic. Like I said, those are things that I have just because when I became a natural, I was just like OCD and I got everything possible that a natural hair person could need. But when it comes to what I actually use, these are the things that I use on a weekly basis to maintain the health of my hair, to style my hair, to keep it neat, to keep it healthy. Um, 
Yeah, so that's what I wanted to show you guys. Like I said, everybody's routine or, you know, strategy for maintaining their natural hair is different. I'm sure you guys can find a bunch of other videos where people have totally different suggestions. But for me, these are the things that I know that I actually use all the time that works for me, that keeps my hair healthy, um, that I keep coming back to over and over again. So like I said, I will make sure to link all of these products down below for you guys. Um, once again, make sure you check out my Amazon store where you can find some of these items um, and even previous items that I've mentioned in other videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys did like it, share. Make sure you subscribe if you're not um, so that you know when I post videos. Turn on that notification bell because for whatever reason, sometimes you guys may not find out that I have a video. Um, just by subscribing if you don't have the notification bell on. But also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And if you're following me on Instagram, you will always know that I have a video out because I always post something showing that I have a new video out as well as like other little like videos on things that I do day to day, different pictures. You guys get a little bit more insight into my life if you follow me on Instagram. So make sure you do that. I think I mentioned that's at all my lows too. And I think that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will link to the transitioning video that I did as well so you guys can see like even more stuff that I feel are necessary or essential when you're transitioning or if you want like the full out list of natural hair stuff. Um, yeah, any questions, comments, suggestions, leave it in the comment box below. And that's it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.